What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Team Miles World. And right now we're going to be talking about something that I think is going to be very, very exciting for a lot of you guys out there that are trying to get ready for Madden 23. And you're like, yo, I don't know what's going on as far as, yo, what's my game plan, bro? What am I looking to do right at the launch? I want to make sure you guys know, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch, all at Miles World to stay up to date, you know, starting now, you know, getting ready for the Madden 23 season. But we already know that, I think, what, what's the dude's name? Trent Williams. He's, he's like an old lineman. He's going to be a 99 overall player. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about that and what it means for Madden Ultimate Team. Because a lot of you guys don't realize that based on the rankings of the regular players, you get a little watered down version to start Mutt. Because Mutt, obviously, they're going to gradually increase the overall. So Trent Williams, we'll take a look at what his card was uh, for this year. And you can get a kind of an idea of what's going to happen. More than likely, he's going to probably be like an 88 in Mutt to start because he's going to be a 99 overall in the regular game. So we'll take a look at that. And we'll, we'll also take a look at some of the other players to kind of give you guys some insight because this is what I meant by trying to put together the best possible team. All right. When you start to build your team, I would not go full theme team. I'm going to repeat this because I've been saying it over and over again. And I still get people asking, yo, G, should I go full theme team? No. At launch, you should not go full theme team if you want to win. What you should do, you figure out which one is like the 25 of the 50 that's going to give you the boost of that, you know, whatever to start. And then you put all the other higher overall players in the other positions because it's no way possible that even the best theme team is going to be good at launch. And sometimes you don't even have enough players. So this is what he was at the beginning of the year. All right. You're looking at Trent Williams right now. So look, he was an 86. He's going to more than likely be a 99. Uh, you know, well, well, not a 99, uh, not in regular mutt, but 99 in uh, the regular, you know, exhibition, whatever, play now game mode. So he's more than likely going to be an 88. All right. Probably like an 88 overall. Make sure you come back and let me know if I was right or not. But more than likely, he'll be an 88 because he's going to be a 99 overall in a 99 club for the regular actual game. All right. This is a card that you're going to want to have because if you've played the beta, you know, dudes are coming around the mountain when she comes, bitch. They run right in, and they were sacking me instantly, even though I didn't lose uh, in any head-to-head -head games because pretty much you just block everybody and throw a streak. But he's going to be a really, really good offensive lineman. So what we can do, we can figure out, based on what they're going to give us next week when they start dropping the ratings, what our ultimate team is going to be. So you're going to want to be tuned in right here because this is actually the blueprint, right? If we look to get a Trent Williams, even if they drop a legend that's a high overall, he's going to be really good. 6'5", 320, that, that's a solid weight, stuff like that. Launch of the game, he'll be fine. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew, like, like look, understand that you're not going to get the same overall from the regular game to Mutt, but you can kind of gauge where, you, you know, where you're going to be spending your money and what you're going to need. Now, this player that I'm going to show you next, a lot of you guys were asking about it because, you know, I usually go for height and speed when it comes to wide receiver. So, you know, you guys look at this and you guys know already it's already been leaked that Tyreek Hill is going to be a 99 speed in a regular game. I think he's the fastest guy in the league still. I, I don't, listen, I've watched this guy go from zero to 60 miles per hour in a short, like, it's what, like, bro, within, within five, 10 yards. It's ridiculous, bro. So more than likely, he'll be around this same rate right here. I'm not really sure if we're going to get the same exact stuff out of him, but he should probably be about 89, 90 speed. Now, the next thing that somebody's going to ask, I know it's going to be in the comments. Yo, G, should we go Chiefs theme team? Why would you go Chiefs? Actually, hold on, wait a minute. Chiefs theme team. Okay, you got Patrick Mahomes. All right, Patrick Mahomes, boy. But no, no, no. You're not going to go Chiefs theme team. Um, To make him, if he, let, let's say, for instance, he comes out as a 90 speed, right? Or maybe he stays right there. We power him up, we get the plus one because we go 25 of uh, 50 for the Kansas City Chiefs, right? And then we find the strategy cards early on in the year to, you know, get the other boost. He might be a problem. And this is what I want you guys to understand. It's little things like this that's going to have your game one step ahead of your opponents. Because, again, you would have to be a psychopath to go, you know, what? Well, actually, no, because he's a Dolphin now, too. Do the Dolphins got really good players at launch? All right, look, guys, do me a favor. Tell me some of the good Dolphin players that you think might be out there at launch. You know what I'm saying? Because we might have to figure it out. Maybe we go 25 Dolphins. If we go 25 Dolphins, that might work out to be pretty suitable for us. Um, because if we get the strat cards, remember, the strat cards is the primary goal. All right? I went over that in a video you know, previously to this. So check out what's going on so you know what's happening. That's plus two speed. If we get the plus one, 
Because when you power him up, he gets the plus one. And then you go 25 Dolphins, you get another one. He, he might be like 93, 94 speed right off the jump. He definitely could be. Because like I said, they've already leaked the fact that he's going to be a 99 speed um, in the regular game. So now as I'm talking to you guys about it, it actually makes it more enticing. Because look, you don't have to have them super tall um, at launch if you're going to want to have one guy on one side that's going to beat people deep because you're going to play a lot of dudes that play man-to-man -man coverage. And if they do that, they're going to get, yo, bro, you're getting bombed for six. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be at your mom's crib instantaneously, bro. Instantaneously at your mom's crib. So he might, dude, d d not, dude, listen, guys, I know you're feeling like the energy for Madden 23 Ultimate Team, like right now, like it's starting to like build up. He can be like 93, 94 speed. He may be a gap. Notice how I said gap, a little like Shannon Sharp. He may be a gap. Bro, a gap? No, no, we, we, listen, all right. No, no, we, we're gonna go, we're gonna grab him. We're gonna go up to Tyreek Hill, guys. So he's probably not gonna be an 87, though. I don't think he'll be an 87. I think he'll probably, probably be like an 86, 85, maybe? Because I don't know. Like, I think his rating's gonna go down a little bit, but he'll be super fast, though. So 85, 86, I'm trying to gauge it, but we're gonna go after him, all right? So. This is just something that I want you guys to keep your eye on because the faster the receiver at launch, the easier it is going to be for you to win games. It's, it's like point blank period. What happens is this, right? Like I said, a lot of people at the launch of the game, you're going to play dudes that are running man coverage and just being weird and it's going to be out of control and it won't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Because this guy's going to be so fast. You wait, throw the deep pass touchdown. And it's all about getting the wins early because they haven't announced um, the ultimate champion yet or anything, but you're going to need the head-to-head -head wins. So that's something that's very, very important. But he's going to be a guy that we're going to probably look at. Those two guys are going to probably be some of the top players. Um, Josh Allen. I wanted to leave you guys with this like it's the final guy. Um, some of you guys are asking about, like, you know, Gunslinger. You know, what, what's going on with that? Yo, G, what, what, what's up with these players? Are they going to drop legends that are going to, you know, be able to get the Gunslinger? Why did, I, why did I put three L's there? Dude, what the F? All right, whatever, dude. Hold up. Hold up. There he goes. Okay, so you got the other guy. Okay, so this guy right here. Okay, so right here, right? This is something that I want you guys to understand really quickly. He's going to probably have one of the bigger arms. He's going to be one of those guys that get probably unlock Gunslinger at launch. Very, very important to have. I would probably say he may be our starting QB. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. He may be our starting QB, bro. Because I, I don't really see... Aaron Rodgers is too slow. I, I, don't, I don't think there's another starting court. Um, Russell Wilson? They usually, like, jip him with his throw power. Um, Who else? Herbert, maybe? Herbert's release usually sucks, though. And he's a field general. It'll cost more for the gunslinger. Um, I would probably go after this. I would say Josh Allen, Tyreek Hill, Trent Williams to start off for the year. All right? Because like, based on what we're getting, and as the week goes on... We're going to know concrete ratings, and then we'll just come over here and figure it out together as we build our Madden 23 Ultimate Team a month in advance. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day. Be sure to like and subscribe. One love, y'all.